Okay, so you finished carving your block and now you get to move on to the most exciting part, which is actually printing it. So you'll need a few things. Um, again, you can go to my um, post that goes through all the different printmaking supplies that you can use as a beginner. Um, and I go a lot more in depth into the different beginner supplies that you might want to use. But you will need, of course, the block that you've just finished carving. Um, you'll need a baron. You'll need some sort of uh, printmaking ink. I'm using water-based today. This is Speedball. Water-based is really great if you're a beginner because it's easy to use, dries quickly, um, easy to clean up, and uh, it's pretty inexpensive too. And then you need a brayer. So this is a Speedball brayer and it's just a, it's a soft one. Soft ones are really nice to use when you're a beginner as well and even when you're a professional. Um, so you'll need those items. You'll need something to put your ink onto because you're not going to want to put it directly onto a table. Um, so I'm using, it's a piece of plexiglass. This I happened to get at a store that was closing out. So I think I bought this for a dollar. So if you can come across something like that, that's fantastic. You can take the glass from picture frames, which I've done, but they're they break really easily and then you're dealing with broken glass so that's not necessarily something to use but there's all sorts of different surfaces you can use just something that you can put your ink onto that won't soak through um, and that when you're rolling it out it's not going to shift around a bunch and keep your carving tool close because you might once you put the ink on find a few spots that you missed um, that you want to carve away before you print and then of course the printmaking paper Okay, so I put out a little bit of the ink. Don't, don't be too chintzy on the amount of ink that you put out. I put out, uh, I think, a couple ink inches of length, um, and that's just good to get started. So now we start by rolling out some of the ink. Now I've got far more ink than I'll possibly use. It'll be way too much, but I fully covered... Um, the brayer and now I just moved to a different spot on my uh, piece of plexiglass and you're going to spend a little bit of time just kind of rolling it and this is something that when you're brand new it takes a little bit of just kind of getting to know your ink and how it works and how much you need for what you're doing and uh, what you're printing. So you roll it out. It's almost like doing like an extra little like processing of the ink because it gets it almost gets thinner as you uh, as you keep rolling it. So now it's gotten quite I'd say not too far off where we want it. You'll kind of get used to this shush 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 sound that it makes, and you'll know when it's pretty close. Okay, so now, this is always everyone's favorite part. You do your very first rolling of ink onto your print. And this is where you'll kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like when, when you actually print it. So as you're rolling the ink onto it, you kind of want to be kind of slow, not too fast about it. Um, Make sure you're getting all the areas. It's always easiest to tell this very first time because uh, you're going from the plain color of the block to adding ink to it. So now that looks pretty good. And the other thing too, because um, in the pre if you watched my previous video, I did a really good job of carving away um, all the excess. So, because sometimes you'll go and you'll uh, you'll accidentally get uh, ink on these ridges. And if that happens and you don't want that ink to end up on your paper, you can carve away at this point. Be careful because now you have ink on all these, um, on, all, on your block itself. So you don't wanna get that on yourself. Okay, so now kind of center this where you want it. And you take your printmaking paper, you flip it down now when you set it down, you want to set it down and then make sure it's not going to move because you don't want it to shift or else you'll get a smudgy print. Now you take your baron and you use that to press it down. 
Again, being careful because you don't want to shift the paper and you don't want to, uh, or you want to make sure that you're getting pressure everywhere that uh, you have ink. Now, you never quite know what you're going to get. Sometimes the first print isn't uh, the best print, but uh, here we go. Well, let's take a look. Pull it up, and there we go. That's your very first print. And now let's take a look. This was my original sketch. And so it's not bad. I'd like to have a little bit more ink on it. Um, you can see there's a little bit of, uh, I'll use, just use my carving tool to point right here and there, there's a little, little flex. Now that's something that you can either choose to carve away now if you don't want those, or you can leave them in because those little extra flex just help reflect, I think, the handmade nature of what you've just done. So now this first one, like I said earlier, sometimes your first print isn't the most beautiful print because you've just put a single layer of ink on there. So now I'm going to print another one. This is the other great thing about printmaking is you can, you can print a few. So I'm gonna reload some of the thicker part of the ink and then move back down to here. Give it a good rolling so you can see it's fairly thin. Add a little bit more. Now just roll it back on. Now, because this is the second inking, it's a little trickier to see what uh, where you've inked. So I go until I think I have it, and then I lift it up and I kind of look at it in the light and see, do I have ink everywhere? And I think I do. So now set this down. I want it kind of straight because once you put your piece of paper over top of it, you can't see where it actually is. So you just kind of have to go by feel. So set it down again, make sure that you're not twisting it and take your baron. And lift it. So there we go. You can see that the ink is a lot um, darker on it. Now one of the tricks is um, that you'll just kind of have to get used to is not putting too much ink on. Now I have this vein, this uh, uh, line that's up against the the uh, the stem. I probably put a little too much ink in there. Um, it's you know you can see that it's a lot uh, wider on this version than on that version so that's just something that you'll kind of get used to not every not every print is perfect but I actually think both of these are pretty great in their own way so now you can keep printing do a few more prints of your uh, of your new design and congratulations you've done your very first print and now you can go ahead and do all sorts of designs and uh, have fun with it